Hi all, a very good evening to all of you. Kaise ho aap sab log? Myself Chetanjay and I welcome you all to our ISI daily dose series. Yeah, aaj ka jo question hai kafi acha question hai combinatory ka. Farmers ke upar basically kafi sare cases hain analyze karne ek farmer ke liye theek hai. And jaisa ki aapne ISM 2023 mein dekha tha ki is baar ka ISM kafi case work heavy paper tha. So similar sa hi ek ye question hai. Ye question also humne apne level 5 ke ek test mein pucha tha. So let's start with the question. So the question says that a farmer's rectangular field is partitioned into a two by two grid, right, uh, of four rectangular sections as shown in the figure. Basically, figure is uh, something like this. There is a two by two grid, right. In each section, the farmer will plant one crop: corn, wheat, soybeans, or potatoes. The farmer does not want to grow corn and wheat in the two sections. That share a border. Border means that share an edge. Right. If any two squares or any two rectangles share an edge, so the farmer do not want to uh, grow these two with uh, these two uh, crops together, right? And the farmer does not want to grow the other two, that is soybeans and potatoes, together in any two sections that share a border again an edge, right? So basically, let's name the crops as A, B, C, and D. So it cannot uh, be grown with B simultaneously if they share a border. Similarly, C cannot be grown uh, with D if they share a share an edge. Right. Given these restrictions, in how many ways can the farmer choose crops to plant in each of the four sections? And in the question, it was also mentioned that if he can grow the same crop in more than One, one uh, rectangle. So it's not necessary that we need to grow all the four crops. Right? So basically, let's let's name the crops as A, B, C, and D. And uh, we cannot grow A and B uh, on those rectangles which share an edge. Similarly, we cannot grow C and D on uh, those squares which share an share an edge. Right? So we will do we will try to do this question in two ways. Right. So first way, let's consider the first way. Let's consider this grid. Now let's consider these two diagonal, uh, diagonally opposite squares as same group. So first case, uh, this diagonal as shown, diagonal has same row. Right? So technically, there are four options for this, and whatever group we have gone here, since we are assuming them. Uh, In this square, we are assuming the same crop, so this square will have only one option, right? And uh, now let's say, let's assume we have grown C crop in these two, right? Now here we cannot grow D in both these squares because C and D cannot share an edge. So uh, for this square, we have three options, right? We can grow either C or A or B, right? So there are three options for this, and similarly there will be three options for this also. We can grow C. We can grow C. We can grow B. Right. So four into three into three, uh, that is thirty-six. Thirty-six are number of those ways in which diagonal has one diagonal has same crop. This this diagonal basically, right. and that will automatically care, uh, take care whether um, the other two has same crop, different crop, whatever is the scenario. So basically, if this diagonal has same crop, then there are thirty-six ways, right? Now let let consider second uh, case in which second case in which this uh, square and this square they have different crop but uh, they have opposite pair right like uh, either A or B or C and D right but A and C or you can say B and C or A and D and B and D that that case we will consider later right so they are having different uh, crop. Four options for this, and now it will have the other matched pair. For example, let's say uh, this square we place B here. Then here there is only opposite match that should be A, right? Now for this square we have two options. We can either place C or B. Similarly for this square we have two options. Uh, we can either place C or B, right? So four multiplied by two multiplied by two that is. So sixteen are those ways in which 
this diagonal has uh, different slopes, but uh, opposite slopes. Like A doesn't match with B, so they uh, they may be having A and B or B and B. Right? So let's consider the third case. Case three. When these two have different slopes, but but let's say uh, they are from different pairs. Like one is from uh, A or B, and the other one is from C or D. Right? So first of all, there will be four options. For placing any crop in this, let's say uh, we place C here. So for this crop, we are having only two options. What are those two options? A or B. Okay. Now let's say uh, we place A here. Now for this square, we cannot place B. We cannot place D. So we are again having two options for this. They can be either C or A. Similarly, for this option, uh, for this square, we are having again two options, which are namely C or A. For this also, C or A. So that will be nothing but eight times four, thirty. So in total, the total number of ways finally total will be thirty-two plus sixteen, thirty-two plus sixteen plus plus this number which was thirty-six, thirty-two plus sixteen plus thirty-six. So that comes out to be how much? Um, fifty-two plus thirty-two, eighty-four. So eighty-four will be the final answer. So one way of doing this question is this, right? <clears throat> now let's let's see one more way uh, of doing this question, and uh, in that question, let's consider the we will consider four cases. First, we place only single crop, single crop. Right. So what are what are the ways? Um, we can select either A, B, C, or D. So there are four options. So there are four ways. Either we can place A, B, C, or we can place B, C, D, or C in all the squares or D. Right. Now let's choose if we place exactly two crops. Now first of all, you need to understand uh, whether the two crops are from the opposite match pair or from the different pair. Right. So let's assume uh, first we consider A and B. So basically, there are two ways. Either we can choose A commonly, or we can choose C, C and D. Right? So if we place A here, the only place for B will be. Uh, we cannot place B here, right? So the only place for B should be here, right? Makes sense, right? And similarly, if B is placed here, we cannot place A here, right? So basically, uh, we cannot we cannot uh, fill this field. With two exactly two crops from the same opposite match pair, right? That is the that is <coughs> the farmer cannot plant uh, these two things. That is uh, soybeans and potatoes. Uh, exactly soybeans and potatoes in all the fields, right? So even if we are matching like A and A, B and B, this will again uh, create a problem because A and B are sharing an edge. Right? So if A is here, then B has only one pair which is here. But if B is here, then we cannot place A or B in these two pairs. Right? So exactly two crops is possible if one crop is from uh, this part. That is one is, one crop is from A and B, and the other one is from C and D. Right? Then only uh, the field can have exactly two crops. Right. So there are two ways of selecting one crop from A and D, and there are two ways of selecting one crop from C and D. Now let's say we are having two crops A and B. Right? So what we can do? Uh, We can place, let's say, A here. So, <coughs> or you can say, um, they they do not have any uh, problem with each other. So, practically, there are four squares. So, every square has two options: two, 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 two. So, two raised to power four. But let's exclude those two ways uh, when either only A crop is has been planted or only C crop has been planted. Right. So, basically, let's exclude those two ways uh, in which exactly one crop is planted. So for exactly two crops, this is the way. This is four times fourteen. This is equal to fifty-six. Hopefully, this scenario should be clear. Now let's see the number of ways when exactly three crops are planted. So let's select uh, three crops out of the four crops, and let's name them as A, B, and C. Right. Now, since A and uh, obviously from the three, two must be from the uh, Opposite matching pair and one from the different pair. 
Now let's say if we are placing A here, then B must be somewhere around this. So neither A candidate nor B candidate. Now if out of four crops, we are having exactly three crops. So the crop which is from the different pair that should reduce, right? And uh, the place for this is C. Right? So uh, we can place like this, or we can place like B A C C, or we can place like A B C C. Or we can place like B A C B. So for any three set, we are having actually four of them. Forty-three. There is four into four. There, there will be sixteen days. Now let's try to figure out those ways when we plan exactly four crops. Right. Let's try to figure that way. Let me just do it. So uh, let's consider if we are using each and every row. So here we are having four options for this. Now if let's say here we plan set C, then this place will have only D because we we cannot place here, right? So now this place will have two options. Either we can plan A or B. Now if this place is fit, this place is fit, then this will be automatically fit. So basically, eight will be the number of ways for uh, filling four. Exactly four crores, right? That is all, all the four crores. So find the total number of these will be four plus sixty-six plus sixteen plus eight. This is twenty-four. Sixty-six plus twenty-four is again eighty-four. In the previous solution also, we, our answer was eighty-four. Obviously, the answer will remain same. So basically, there are two ways for uh, of doing this question, right? So you can you can do any of the ways, right? So that was the question from uh, one of our exam. Uh, Level five, test one, test one. I guess that was uh, last question, right? So, by this uh, type of question, ISI me, uh, JEE me, or IUK me, to many are coming, are coming, right? So, ISI me, there is combinatorics, so that is, whether it is UGA ka exam or whether it is UGB ka exam. So, if you wish to prepare for ISI, we are uh, we are basically launching a course, which uh, specifically full math master course, which will cover the math cover, right? Full math master course, right? So it will it it is starting from uh, 18th of October. Adesar and me, uh, we both will take the classes, right? So we course, very heavy course, very big course. It is spread, uh, spread it is spread is spreaded across 16 months, 160, 156 minimum live lectures. And obviously, number of lectures is a little bit more than that. And uh, five to six thirty, one and a half hour of class will be three days a week class, hai, right? Um, class topic wise. Assignment आपको मिलेंगे. There will be lot of test. And अगर आपको कुछ भी doubt है, तो live class में तो definitely हम doubt creator करेंगे, करेंगे. But apart from live class, you can also uh, ask your doubts over the Telegram, right? The most important thing is, जो बच्चे अभी ninth या tenth में हैं, और JEE में JEE की preparation start करने से पहले, अगर अपना कोई भी एक subject पूरा JEE point of view से खत्म करना चाहते हो, then generally that subject should be mathematics because physics or chemistry में तो obviously math use होता ही होता है. तो JEE में जाने से पहले Uh, अगर आप एक सब्जेक्ट पूरा खत्म करना चाहते हो पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से आई एस आई पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से या मैथ ओलम्पियड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से देन दिस कोर्स इज फॉर यू अगर आप नाइन्थ में हो या टेंथ में हो या इलेवंथ में हो और आप सिक्सली आई एस आई को टारगेट कर रहे हो तो ये कोर्स तो बनाया ही आप लोगों के लिए गया है दिस इज द मस्ट फॉर यू एंड इवन इफ आप अगर इलेवंथ में हो जेई की तैयारी कर रहे हो बट तीनों फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ को करने में अगर आपको प्रॉब्लम आ रही है दैट इज तीनों सब्जेक्ट अगर आप इकट्ठे लेकर नहीं चल पा रहे Then, bhai, ISI is a very good course. Uh, apart from preparing for all the three subjects, you can uh, you can go for single subject that is mathematics. Math prepare karo, uh, na, and uh, try to crack ISI or CMI. CMI and ISI they both are very good colleges, equivalent to IIT, right? So again, this this course is mainly for those people, right? Bhai, bada lamba course hai, so price is thoda sa heavy is the twenty six thousand six hundred fifty six ka price hai, right? But yes, by applying this coupon code, you can get a 10% discount, and the price will be uh, of 24,000 for you. Right? If you want to get this, then link is in the description box. Now, but yes, again, do not forget to apply the coupon code. Right? So, this batch may be, or like this, this type of question, we are going to do a lot in this series. Right? So, stay tuned. I hope in this question, you will have fun with us. And more importantly, you will have fun with both the methods. Right? So, that's it from today's session. We will meet you in the next session. Till then, please take a very good care of yourself. Thank you. Bye bye.